It's all lies Quanquiso denies directing use youth not to pay N30,000 minimum wage if elected. Rabiu Quanquiso, former governor of Kano State, has denied reports that he told Kaber Yuzyuf, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the Kano State governorship election, that the PDP administration, if elected, will not be able to pay N30,000 minimum wage to workers as it expects to inherit an empty treasury from Governor Abdullahi Amar Gonduj. Responding via a statement from Binda Spikin, his media aide, Kwang Kweso said he would never be part of a plot to underpay workers or retrench them. To the dismay of all well-meaning Nigerians, particularly those of us from Kano, recent unfolding happenings are disturbing and will not augur well for the development of our dear state. What is more baffling is the extent some people want to go all in the name of politicking, which should not have been. Ordinarily, elections should have been over. However, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared Kano state result inconclusive, read the statement. As a law-abiding citizen, Senator Rabi Ukwankwaso along with all his followers are patiently awaiting the 23rd of March when the rerun election would take place, and when we will confidently emerge victorious. The people of Kano have spoken, and they will at all times stand on the side of Sen Kwankwaso because of his people-oriented policies and programs that have added value to the quality of lives in Kano and beyond. Hence, it is disheartening that some media outlets carry reports with distorted information attributing it to Senator Rabi Ukwankwiso. These include a sponsored write-up and that says Sen Kwankwiso will retrench workers if engineer Rabake Bayusuf is elected governor and a badly written piece and insinuating that Sen Kwankwiso has instructed engineer Rabake Bayusuf not to pay the N30,000 minimum wage if elected. On this note, we wish to call on the general public to disregard these concocted lies written solely to blackmail the person of Sen Kwang Kwaso who is not the gubernatorial candidate. These concocted stories are deliberate and mischievous machinations intended to deflect our minds as we await the rerun election to take back our mandate and set Kano along the track of developmental progress. We wish to draw the attention of the public to the fact that Sen Kwang Kwaso has never been and will never be an advocate of retrenchment, neither will engineer Abike Bayusuf. The people of Kano can testify to the doggedness of Senator Kwang Kwaso when it comes to issues pertaining the well-being of Kano people, civil servants or not, in or out of government and that will never change. Therefore. Our attention should now be focused on seeing that the rerun election is free and fair. Against this background, we urge the general public to disregard the concocted false information as it has no basis. The Independent National Electoral Commission INEC, will conduct a supplementary election on March 23 to determine the next Kano governor. At the time INEC declared the election inconclusive, PDP's used youth had polled 1,014,474 votes while APC's Gone Duj had 987,819. However, the margin of 26,655 votes between the two top candidates meant it was impossible for NEC to declare a winner. <laughs>